Hey guys, today we're talking about labeling cables. Hey guys, so today we're doing some uh, cable labeling, like so, um, with the number, my logo, it's all shrink wrapped, you can order cables with the shrink, usually it comes with two of them. These ones for some reason were really short, but that's okay because I only have one number uh, for two numbers like this one, this one's a 10 foot cable, we're going to be doing two numbers, this is a three foot as you can see says three. Now there is a standard for uh, the color. Uh, the uh, number one is, uh, I believe, uh, brown? Yes, brown. Um, <clears throat> two is red, so we use ready tape. Three, as you can see, is orange. Uh, four is yellow. Uh, five is green. Six is blue. And then seven is purple. I don't have any purple with me. Eight is uh, gray. And then nine is white. And then zero is just a black E-tape. Um, I'm gonna build this one. This is a 10, 10 foot cable. Uh, this is a uh, XLR to quarter inch uh, balanced. This is female. It doesn't really matter for this labeling. Uh, some companies like to label their cables differently for adapters like such. Uh, you either that or have a different colored cable. Um, but for us today, we're just going to do it this way. Uh, this is how I've been doing it for a while. And I can't really afford to change the color of the cable at the moment. So rule of thumb, this is a... Uh, Scotch code from M3. It's pretty pricey. Um, STD09. Uh, this comes in rolls of 0 to 9 with sticker um, of the numbers. Now, yes, it is pretty pricey, but it's it lasts. It lasts pretty long. Uh, and I use the length of this uh, to calculate where I start. So I usually start, I lean it up against, and then I par I start about one length away. Now it doesn't need to be very, very precise. Uh, in this case, this is going to be a, this is going to be a 10 footer. So we have some black, some brown, as well as we have some logos. <coughs> All right. Now, I lost my mark. We're going to start with the zero because we read uh, left to right. In this case, uh, because we're starting at the end, we're going to start from right to left. So we're going to start with zero. Now, what I usually do is I give myself a little bit of slack like this. Okay. And then I just roll it on, try to make it nice and slow so it's nice and straight. Now you're gonna say, well, you know, you only need to do one turn, right? Well, I do multiple turn for a simple reason. So you get a little bit of thickness going, just about like that. That's probably a little too much. And then I use a knife. I'll tell you guys in a second why I put so much tape. Now, I use a knife to cut it instead of just pulling it off. So that when you close it up, like so, you have a nice, clean finish like that, right? Now the reason I make it this bulkier, and I'll, I will with the uh, brown for the one, is that when I put the shrink over it and I shrink over top of it, I'll show you 
over on this cable, this cable over here, it shrinks and makes like a bump so that with time when dirt and water gets under the shrink, the shrink doesn't get off. It, it acts like a lock because it's smaller here and here, but bigger here. So it's kind of locking in place versus if it was flush, then uh, with time, it would just slide right off. So I keep it for, keep it thick so it, it locks in place so you have a better protection. Now, uh, let's get the one going, the brown. See, I cut them so flush, it's really hard to get them started. I mean, now I'm not gonna go exactly flush. I'm gonna go maybe an eighth of an inch further away, like so. All right. All right. And then you try to match the thickness of your other number, or other color in this case, to kind of get a nice uniform uh, look. When you twist it like that, yeah, I guess it's it's a bit of a pain to, because then your whole cable's twisting. So I don't have much room, but if you have a, a big counter, uh, it's nice to stretch out the cable over length so you have room to uh, do that. Now we have both colors. And we're just gonna add a logo, which I got made. Uh, sticker. There's no lamination on it, just because uh, it makes it extra thick um, for no real reason, to be honest. I used to have my old logos uh, laminated, which was great for on the equipment, but for cables, uh, it made it really, really thick, and then it would try to go straight and not stick very well on a cable. And it was, once, once it's fine and, and the shrink is over and shrinked, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's a pain. Now, <laughs> I almost forgot to put the numbers. All right, let's start with one. This is not a very big cable, so let's not waste too much. I try to line it up. Again, precision is not key here. Although I have a little bit of a, an OCD on. So I like to have it somewhat nice and centered, like so. And then when I come around, I make sure that it's nice and straight like that. I try not to overlap too much. That's why I said don't take out too much because if you take too much, well, one, this stuff is pretty expensive. You don't want to be wasting it. But two, well, yeah, you're not going to be wasting putting it over top, right? If you're a little short, uh, it's not the end of the world, but uh, if you have OCD and you like everything nice and neat and tidy, oh, this one's perfect. Just perfect length, well, almost, and go over it. But yeah, it looks nicer when you go all the way around. So when you grab the cable, it doesn't matter which direction, you can easily read it. Uh, I know some people say like, oh, well, why bother with the numbers? I mean, if you know what the colors represent, then just do colors. Um, well, one, I prefer the look with the numbers, and two, if I got a student or somebody who's uh, learning and new and doesn't really know the uh, colors by heart, uh, having the numbers on them uh, will remind them every time they pick up a cable that eventually at a distance they can tell with the colors and not have to rely on the numbers, but it's always good to have them, all right? Now, last step, I just need to Heat gun and shrink like so. Don't stay at the same spot for too long. Try to spread it out. Now I like to heat it a little more past 
it's shrink, so you see it's sweating a little. It takes that fog out of the uh, unmelted glue. So I heat it a little more just to get all that glue nice and warm and melted so it sticks better. And it makes a more clear shrink so you can see your logo and your numbers better. So you just make it sweat a little, not too much, because if you make it sweat too much, you will overheat it and start to actually melt the uh, the shrink itself. So here you go. This is a 10 foot cable. And this is going to be good for quite a few years to come. Hey, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like what you see, don't forget to thumbs up this video. It helps a lot. As well as if you guys want to hear more videos like this or similar, uh, comment down below or some different. Or how do you label your cables? And uh, don't forget to subscribe and share these videos and help me grow my YouTube channel. All right, until next time.